Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to quickly add a Gmail shortcut icon to your Apple Mac dock to allow you to quickly access your Gmail inbox. Let's get straight into it. I've opened my Gmail inbox using the Chrome internet browser. If you use Gmail as much as I do, it can be really convenient to add an icon on your Apple Mac dock to quickly open Gmail without having to open up your internet browser first. Let's quickly do this now. Whilst logged into your Gmail account, you can add the icon by moving your mouse to the top right of your Chrome internet browser. You'll see a three dots icon next to your Google profile picture. This icon indicates that there are further options available behind this link. I'll click on it now to show these options. If I move my mouse down the list, you'll see there's a link called More Tools. Clicking on that shows some further options, but the one we're interested in is called Create Shortcuts. I'll move my mouse to that and click on it once. A shortcut creation window then pops up. The name of the shortcut is highlighted, but you can add your own description for this icon. You can also choose to open your Gmail app as a separate window by clicking on the checkbox in the pop-up. If you leave this checkbox blank, Gmail will open in your default internet browser. To confirm your choices, click on the large blue create button. An example of how your Gmail account will be shown is then opened. You'll see a Gmail icon has now appeared in the dock. However, this will only stay in the dock as long as your Chrome browser is open. To add the Gmail icon permanently, I'll move my mouse to it and I'll right click over it to display a list of actions. I'm interested in the options link, however, so I'll click on that and you'll see that there is a choice shown to keep in dock. I'll choose this to add the icon permanently to the Apple Mac dock. If I now close my Chrome internet browser, the Gmail icon remains in the Apple Dock and clicking on it once will open the Outlook inbox in a new window. I hope you find this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.